Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB We're Saving 101, and I'm KB, Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. Uh, I am a lifetime thrifter, and I am currently a reseller on the Poshmark app and sending boxes into ThreadUp. If you are interested in haul content like I am, or you'd like some tips and tricks of the things I learned along the way, then please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button down below because it does really help me out. Um, also, I always like to leave my best stuff for last, so stay tuned till the end and we're going to dive right on in. Hi guys, and this happens to be a thread of boxing. So um, this will be my second box that I send in and I'm going to give you the rundown. I think this is great for me to film because I don't have photos of all of these items. What I started doing was going through my items that aren't listed yet and decided instead of listing them, I'm going to send them in first. Whatever doesn't get accepted, I'll decide whether I send them back or I list in my Poshmark closet. But I'm trying to scale down the amount of work I'm doing. So if you're into working smarter and not harder, let's see how this works, shall we? All right, so I'm going to start with this purse. So if you saw my haul video on this item, um, I got this for a dollar and I thought, okay, prom's around the corner. All right, I'll pick it up. And um, it is Ing Christopher. Well, to my surprise, it happens to be a pretty good darn. <laughs> I thought I was only going to sell it for like $15. Well, um, thread up values it at like 149. So guess where this baby's going? Got to do a little love to it. I got to get my sticker off. And then there's a little bit of red marks on the inside. But yeah, at 149, mwah, goodbye, Christopher Ng or Ng Christopher. Sorry, I got his name wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, from there, I have my, and I'm hoping, you know, I think Michael Kors happens to be like one of the, I don't know, most confusing designers. Um, he doesn't really label his clothes, I don't think, very well, personally. Um, so Michael Kors, not Michael Michael, is on the Lux list. Well, I happen to have a pair of, they say only, Michael cores okay they have mk em, uh, emblem and they're a nice pair of jeans what size are you they're a 12 petite okay now you know michael michael cores has that kind of a tag so that's the only thing that's kind of concerning me um of course i googled the rn number and all it says is michael cores and it doesn't really do me any good so i'm hoping that this is my lux item and uh and God help me, if it is my Lux item, guess what, guys? They have value jeans of his for Michael Kors at $495. I think that's a score. <laughs> so I'm going to send this puppy in and um, pray to God that it's uh, really a Michael Kors. I don't know if I should send in, an, if you got it, I, I, maybe I should send in another one that I actually know is so that I know I can get my items back because I'm going to send in a lot of good stuff. So, um, We'll see. I might send another one of my, um, that I just bought, the thread up boxes, things that I just bought. I bought like nine items so that I get my items back for no charge when they don't want them. All right. So let's see. Um, from there, I'm going to go to um, Gini Beanie, Gianni Beanie, whatever the name. Okay. So I have to do a little bit of cleanup here, which is, you know what? I don't know. Well, no, that's part of the shoe. Never mind. Um, I have to get some of the sticker stuff off, but that's it these little sandals and um, most of their shoes, their average price uh, value is like at $89. So I am really good with sending those in. Woohoo! All right. I have a pair of coach sandals that are in excellent condition. Of course, I'm going to be removing the sticker down here. I mean, it has its value of uh, it says 198 and that they were listed at Nordstrom's Rack for 99. But on their site, ThreadUp has their value of their sandals at $235. So I will be um, taking my blow dryer and um, heating these up and taking those right off because I really think that 
they're in great shape and they'll do very well with the summer season coming. Oh, what size are you? Well, I better not get too cocky because if they don't have the size on, they don't take, oh, there it is, 10. They're a size 10. All right, so yay on that one. Some really high dollar values. All right, let's see. Enzo Angliani. All right, so I had picked these up and I did pay $6 for these, um, which is very high. I usually try to pay five and under um, and I am gonna start trying to stick to my dollar. Um, maybe I'll even go to the bins if my health holds up. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but these are in great shape. And um, again, I bought them for like six. Um, they value these at, let's see, 169. So that again, that's a good markup and I will get my six back and then some. So I'm gonna send these in. All right, now this all depends too on if the weight of the box makes it because unfortunately my last box that I sent in, if you've watched that video, um, some of my purses did not make it in there. Oh, I think it was only my coach purse made it in there because my scale was off and it said that it weighed 30 pounds. I only ended up weighing 17, I think, um, which was a royal bummer. Um, so I have a box, I'm doing a different scale and I'm gonna take it in before I close it all shut to make sure I can get all this in there. Um, otherwise, some pieces might be striking out, but again, I'm showing you, I can then have proof that I'm of what the item looked like. Um, it gives me a refresher. It gives you guys a refresher for when I go through and say these items sold. So, all right, so from there, we're going on to, okay, Carmen Mac Valvo. All right, where are you? Hold on. Is it? No. Carmen Mac Valvo. I wrote this thing down. <laughs> All right, do I have these out of order? I do. I have these out of order. All right, well, I'm just gonna go to the next item that is on the top here. Let's see. And maybe I'll just grab my little pen so I can mark it off as I go through them. I apologize, it doesn't always go as planned. Uh, as much research as I do. Let's see, this happens to be Banana Republic size two. It is the Martin Fit. Um, and uh, I don't think they're made of anything special. Oh, 56% cotton, you know, a little bit of spandex, blah, blah, blah. So, Banana Republic, where did I put you? Um, they usually value them like over 88. So, that's why I'm sending those in. Okay. Next item, J. Crew skirt. This happens to be a size six. It is adorable. It's got all this beautiful embroidery on it. It's just a sweet little A-line um, skirt. And I think this will do great. It's in neutral colors. Um, they value it at $98. So, woohoo! All right, this one I did not put in. I just threw it in there because I know I want to send it, but it's not on my list. So I'll take it out. Okay, let's see. This one here. This happens to be a Chico's jacket. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it's a nice, like oriental flare black jacket with the print on it. I don't remember what size are you? Size two. So I plan on sending that in. Okay. Calvin Klein jeans. Um, um, what I, you know, I just saw somebody who sold um, the uh, Chico's jacket, and it was a little bit lower dollar amount than what I was, what I looked at. I thought it was like 108 was their um, value price. So I will look at it again and make sure that it's not a coat that I was looking at because, yeah. But you know what? I don't then have to store it and list it and share it, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I really am. <laughs> Calvin Klein jeans. These are size 16. And um, let's see, they value these at $60. So not all Calvin Klein is um, valued that high. So you do want to watch what you're looking at. Make sure you type in the jeans. Okay, now this is gorgeous. And I know it is an Ann Taylor and it is factory, size 12, but it's new with tags. 
and the tag is $169. So they should value it, I would believe, at $169. And with that, I will say, I believe this dress will sell because it's gorgeous. Um, it is polyester, but um, that floral print is just beautiful. And again, we're going into this wonderful spring season, so I want to get this in ASAP. That would be a gorgeous dress for weddings and oh, all kinds of things. So, um, like I said, so hopefully they're going to value it this. All right, now this is an Ann Taylor dress. Their value is about $80 for her dresses. Um, so, it's just, a, no, it's a loft. Ann Taylor loft. So it's like $80 and it's a black dress. And guess what? We all know how hard it is to photograph black. Well, and they get really good dollars for her. So I have no problem. Bye bye, baby. Um, like I said, $80 value. All right, this is Donna Karen jeans, DKNY jeans, um, size 12. And they value her crop pants. Um, they're really nice weight um, at 60. So I'm sending her in. I figure anything that's over a $60 value, I'll be making plenty on. So that's what I'm doing. Now this one, I have no doubt that they'll uh, list this one higher for Chico's because it is a size three, but it's lined. The other one isn't lined. Um, it's, it is gorgeous. So I wish it wasn't in such fall colors, but it's definitely very royal. Um, it has some neutrals to it. So um, I'm hoping that this one gets valued at like 108 and um, Yes, it sells and I get that wonderful profit. Okay. All right, I have Chico's button down shirt. Are you ready? Da -da -da -da. It's just a green button down cotton, right? Uh, are you made of? I think it's just cotton. I don't think it's linen. Hello. Cotton, 100% cotton, size three. In this green with the roll up tab sleeves so um yeah i'm sending that in because let's see button down top they value those at 89 dollars Woohoo! and remember now that means i can mark it up 80 percent of that price so um uh, my calculator and i turn it on so it's 89 and it times it by 80 percent and that means i can mark it up to 71 and at 71 what is my threat of payout? I'm telling you, I've got notes everywhere. You guys can probably laugh. Came over to my house. 71, so that's 30 to 60%. So even at 30%, we'll times it by 30%, times 71 times 30%, for some reason, I'd still make $21 on that. So I'm good with that. I'm good with that. All right. I'm going to keep moving along. All right. Make sure I got my right hat up on top. Here we go. Nope, that's, yes. Here we go. All right. So I have a cabbie's jacket, super cute. I hope it gets in before the season's over, but I don't know how fast they're checking things in. I've had a box in there for oh, over a week. So, and I just keep checking every day, every day. I'll let you know as soon as I find out. Um, so with the cabbie, um, they usually list their jackets about 149. So that's a great profit margin again. Um, I have this really cute, gap dress. It's just a little sundress with adjustable straps in this pretty yellow with this like embroidered floral detail. Can you see that floral? There you go. Embroidered detail all throughout the dress. It's really super cute. It is a size zero. Um, and let's see, gap, they 55 to 43. So if they mark it to 55, I think I can mark it to 43, and that means I still make a good profit. So anytime it's over your, um, that pay scale range where you're looking, um, where is it at? Uh, so if it's above, well, if it's above $40, hmm, it doesn't actually say that. That'd be interesting. I guess I'll have to find out because if it's above 50 to 99, it's 30 to 60 percent. And if it's 20 to 40, it's 15 to 30 percent. I would imagine that it'd have to be about 30 percent for the 40 and above um, 
to 50. So that's what I'm going to assume for right now. And if I find out otherwise, I will let you know. All right. <clears throat> so I have, this is Pitt Amsterdam. Um, and they value this dress and it's new with tags at 143. It doesn't have the belt, so I hope they're okay with that, but it's gorgeous. It's in perfect shape. And um, yeah, that one being definitely more of a specialty item, I would think I'm sending that in. Okay, now I have, where's this one at? Eric Javis purse. Now this purse, again, um, most of these items, except for that one pair of shoes. Oh no, my shoes, all of my shoes I paid more than a dollar for that I showed you. Um, and um, this Eric Javis, I did pay a dollar for. And these particular purses go for pretty darn high, I found out. And so I'm going to send him in. And um, they have his valued really high. So Eric Jarvis purses, they've got a, the medium range is $300. So woohoo, let's send that puppy in. And you know, the basket purses and the bucket, um, I think that's gonna be ready to go. Flying off those shelves. All right, on to, this is Adriana Papel, size 4P. Okay, and we'll see. I've got a lot of petites, don't I? A lot of petites and small sizes. So, you know, I'm hoping that they do better on thread up. Um, but this particular um, style of dress would probably be considered a cocktail, I would believe. Um, and where are you at? Just say, okay, here it is, at 119. So that value would be at like 119. So that would be a good profit margin. All right. This one is London Times, and this would definitely be a cocktail dress. It is an off the shoulder, one shoulder um, layered in this black. Again, hard to photograph. Um, and I think that's perfect to send in. Um, so let's see. London Times, again, 119. I'm all for it. This one is Carmen, Carmen Mark. Velvo. All right. Hopefully I said that right. I have no idea. All right. And this is a pretty heavy. It's a knit. It's like a rayon nylon spandex. Um, and then it says the lining is 100% polyester, but oh, I guess there is a lining down there. There is a lining. Um, and um, it's like a little bodycon with this lace detailing. You can see that. So um, I'm going to send this one in. Uh, because, let's see, 119 value. Again, that's really awesome. I'm all for that. Now, so I showed you <laughs> a lot of stuff that's in this box. Um, these are things that I had from, I don't know, we'll, I have to look to see um, if I've got the list from what I did, because these items, I hate to say this, I've already done. Um, yeah, here's stock for thread up. Okay, see, I do have it. I am somewhat organized. Um, so like, I'm going to send in this, this is via Spiegel um, purse. You've already seen that in the last one, so I apologize, but I didn't think the weight, it was gonna take it. So um, let's see, where did I have that one at? Via Spiegel. On the other side, mm-hmm. There was a lot of items in that box. Yes, bigger. Yes, bigger. I'm looking. I apologize. All right. Well. Hmm. I don't know where I have it. But I'm not going to keep wasting time looking for it, guys, because um, if you want to, you can review the one before because I believe I told you how much it, they would value it at um, and or what I paid for it and you know all that wonderful stuff so anyway um, I've got coach bags I got two of those that again I'm like okay um, coach has not been selling for me so I must get rid of it I have um, a, a Perlina uh, 
which is this one's really super cute really great leather so i'm hopefully the weight will work on this um and then again this is all from i think most of it like my last haul video the one before uh not this week's but last week's <laughs> so anyway um size four eddie bauer those are going in um i have a tank from Catherine's. it's and i don't know about that one i i'm, I'm kind of torn um nine west they really value this as a really good one so um pretty much i'm going to just go through here very quickly and see if there's anything that i threw in that wasn't in that haul um there's just one more this one item that wasn't in that haul and um that happens to be which i was kind of surprised of is this ruby road so this ruby road um like jacket blazer whatever you want to call it um it's really super cute but i was really surprised that they valued it pretty decent um so i thought well you know what i haven't listed it in my closet yet um why should i do the work maybe i will do better on there and i do actually have a few pieces of that ruby road and if I was smart, I would have wrote that down for you all. So let's take a peek at Ruby Road. All right, Ruby Road, let's go. Here we go, Ruby Road. Okay, so here's my Ruby Road. We're gonna go to jackets, so we'll go to filters. Filters, category, coats and jackets. Here we go, done, and I don't know why it always shows up so small jacket 68 68 um so if they value it over 68 dollars, i can mark it to the higher 40s um which means then i could still make some good money 74 so yeah that's one of the reasons why i'm sending that in and we'll see how it goes it's basically like i said another test market so anyway that happens to be um besides the items that i showed in my last haul um all that i'm going to send in this box and i'm getting ready for another box i have lots of boxes i'm going to be sending off so stay tuned and we'll see how this journey all ends up so again until next time thanks for joining me all right guys well i appreciate you staying all the way to the end and hopefully you liked it don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below um also if you don't follow me i'm on instagram twitter tumblr pinterest uh there might be a few oh TikTok. Uh, <laughs> and i do give out a little bit more information especially on instagram so if you are interested in more tips please do me a favor and follow me there Otherwise, I really do appreciate you staying. And again, until next time.